One of the most well-recognized theories of aging is the theory of replicative aging. More than 50 years ago, in 1961, Leonard Hayflick uh, decided to take a look at how many times fibroblasts, meaning uh, human connective tissue cells, would divide in culture. And he found out that that is only 40 to 60 times. So after approximately 50 divisions, the cells would just seed in culture, they would um, be metabolically active, but they could not divide any longer. Even if you uh, give them a growth factor, it means a molecule that signals um, uh, cell division, basically, the cells would not react to uh, those growth factors. So why is this happening? Uh, the main reason is believed to be telomere shortening. So you've probably heard about uh, telomeres, so what are they? Telomeres are uh, regions at the end of chromosomes, DNA molecules. Uh, those regions, they do not code any genes and um, they consist of uh, repetitive sequences and um, are important for proper chromosome functioning, especially during divisions. So, um, telomeres are really important in um, cell uh, divisions. So, what happens every time the cell divides. So it needs to double its DNA, right? So the chromosome needs to be replicated. Since um, a chromosome is basically a double uh, strand helix, it has two strands, right? So it uh, should be separated. Those two strands should be separated first, and then each of them should be replicated. So um, one of the strands has a problem replicating at the telomere um, um, well, basically area. It, uh, every time the cell divides, the telomeres become shorter and shorter and shorter, so one of the strands, the lagging strand, um, it uh, cannot replicate completely just because, um, uh, just because it can't, just because this is how our cells replicate. So um, the cells evolve the machinery how to uh, solve this problem, and this enzyme is called telomerase, it uh, elongates the region and basically um, uh, corrects this uh, kind of uh, mistake of the replication, but telomerase is active in cancer cells and it is somewhat a little bit active in dividing cells, but not uh, enough, not nearly enough, and this is believed to be one of the reasons why, um, uh, well, replicative aging contributes to um, the overall aging of the body. Um, so what happens? Um, telomere shorten time after time after time after time, division after division after division. So at some point of time they're so short that the cell considers uh, that um, those short telomeres uh, to be critical um, of DNA damage and it attracts the machinery, the DNA repair machinery that it has to solve that problem. However, unfortunately, cells cannot cope with too short uh, telomeres. And uh, then the cell has um, a decision to make. It can choose from three different options. First of all, it can uh, become cancerous. Second of all, it can die. It, basically, it can uh, follow the apoptosis path and apoptosis means uh, programmable cell death. And the third path, that's senescence. So a cell can become this dormant senescent cell that sits uh, within our tissue and uh, is believed to be secreting um, tons of factors in its environment. Uh, but that's another story.